And with the Iron Bowl kicking off tomorrow, here's a little football trivia for you. Who is the oldest person still alive to play quarterback at the University of Alabama? Well, it's kind of a trick question. Judd Davis has the answer. This is what the fraternity. Marie Carastro has some great memories of her time at the University of Alabama. She didn't know it then, but she wasn't your typical student. I'm very athletic. I was told in, uh, in college that I had superior motor development. The Tuscaloosa native was about to show off some of those skills. Her friends let her know about a football game on campus called the Honey Bowl. I think it was advertised in the newspaper or something beforehand, but it was, an, it was all females and it was intramural sports in which girls played girls from the University of Alabama. She was Marie Tot Fikes back then, and she could play. But we played to win. I mean, we were serious when we played. It became a big event on campus. The Crimson Tide football team, the band, and thousands of fans came out to watch Tot and the Alabama Bumblebees. Soon, she found herself leading the team at quarterback. My mentor was Harry Gilmer. Harry Gilmer was an Alabama football player and he also was a pro football player. So he was the one that tried to work with me on passing. I just remember his feet went way up off the ground when he threw and I don't think mine did that well. Yeah, she's doing very well. At the young age of 93, she's the oldest person alive to play quarterback for a University of Alabama team. You're kind of surprised and you feel, well, I didn't know I was doing that when I was doing it, but that's great. <laughs> With the Iron Bowl coming up, I had to ask, any tips for Coach Saban? I don't know that I'm qualified to give any tips. <laughs> if Bama needs a boost, Tot is ready. Touchdown. <laughs> you still got it. <laughs> you got one more game left in you? Well, sure. <laughs>